Well, you know, that's been a big question of mine for the 27 years that I've been doing this is how do I describe to somebody who has no context what it is that I do? And so over the years, I've played with many different potentials around that. My most recent one is that I'm a bioelectrician. <laughs> I like that. And so your work would complement the the electrical body or the energetic body, possibly. Exactly. And, you know, this is something that is part of my job to educate people about that we've been so conditioned to look at ourselves chemically and mechanically uh, that we miss the fact that our body has an electrical system. And it's really kind of been hidden or where we don't see the forest for the trees, because mm. I think most people understand that their brain waves are electric or that their heartbeat is driven and it's an electrically oscillating part of our being that requires electricity, uh, that our blood carries a charge. Most people know that. And many people know that our bones are crystalline structures that make electricity when you compress them. Uh, and our fascia, certainly there's been an increasing interest in fascia over the last few years, but our fascia and our collagen are all semiconductors that are conducting light and information very rapidly throughout the whole system. And what all this puts together is that you have electric current running through you. And that's the difference between being alive and being dead. When you're alive, your light is on, you've got electric current juice flowing through you. And when you die, your light goes out. Right? So that, yeah. that is the, the sort of most important part of your being and what I would call your conscious mind, your subconscious mind. I'd even go so far as to call our biofield, our body's electrical system, our soul. And yeah. when we start to have an understanding of the system and we work with the system, which I do with tuning forks, basically I use tuning forks to groom and rewire people's electrical system to get the noise and resistance out of the signal and the flow of it. So hence bioelectrician. Yeah. Isn't it funny? We assume there's like some division line, like between the mind and the physical that there's like, like somehow there's like some emotional component that lives up here in the head and then everything else is just separate protein expression. That's always seemed very weird to me. Like that's a yeah. program that we all, uh, we, we actively or passively buy into, but from my understanding of health as I've explored the different ways in which emotions, feelings, and trauma can be stored in an elbow or a knee or a heart. That's, that's kind of been, that theory has been blown apart from my lived experience anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Well, in the biofield model, um, anything that has electric current running through it has a magnetic field around it. So what's the energy in energy medicine? It's electricity. It's really pretty simple. And what's the aura? Well, it's the magnetic field that surrounds the electric current. And there's nothing pseudoscientific about it. It obeys laws of science that we already understand. So in this model, let me just show you a little prop that helps to illustrate it. Yeah. Here's a torus. So in this model, the body sits inside this part, and this is where the electric current rail flows through, and then the magnetic field flows around us. So if our body is here inside our magnetic field, our biofield, which is mind, then the body is inside the mind in this model rather than the other way around. So wherever mm. you start to go south or out of balance in your mind, your body will follow. Thank you.